In this question, we have a radical expression. We call this a radical expression because this is basically a radical. We call it a square root because it is like an invisible tool right here. So look how, how I'm going to go ahead and do this. The first step is to just put the number and then I'm going to go ahead and just put the letters because that's going to make it way much easier. Let's go ahead and deal with the number first. Well, we need to figure it out, or actually, we just need to separate 72 into factors that I can actually find the square root. If you just want to be more practical, I remember that 72 is actually the same as 8 and 9. Also, 8 is equals to 4 and 2 and 9 is equals to 3 times 3. So I can actually go ahead and say that 72 is equals to a square root of 4. I'm just multiplying 4 times 2 times, and actually I'm just going to write down 9 because I know the, the square root of 9 is 3. So 4 times 2, and then look, I have 3 times 3 times 9. Literally, what I'm just doing is just rewriting the 72. Awesome. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 2, well, I cannot simplify that anymore. And a square root of 9 is 3. Finally, I have that for my numbers. This is 6 because 2 times 3 is square root of 2. Now, I need to deal with my letters. Now, Let's remember that when you have, like for example, an expression inside a radical, I can actually do this. Since this is a 2 here, I can divide all these numbers by 2 in order to simplify this expression. The problem is that I have an 11, a 12, and a 13. Well, 11 divided by 2 does not give me an integer because that's going to give me 5.5. .5. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the 11 and the 13. Look what I'm going to do. I write down my square root. Instead of writing 11, I can also say that this is a 10 times a 1 because look, 10 plus 1 is 11. B12, I'm going to leave it like that. And then 13, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is 12 and 1. You can see here what I'm doing is just rewriting. So square root of a to the 11, I'm just making it a to the 10 and a by itself. Look what's going to happen. Now I can divide 10 by 2 and what do I get? 10 by 2 is equals to 5. So I can just write down a to the 5. This a I cannot do that because that will be 1 over 2. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it inside the radical. Now let's do 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So this is actually 6. And I'm going to do the same with C. 12 divided by 2 is actually C. 6 as well. Now, there's another C here that I cannot get out. So my final answer is going to be 6 square root of 2, and then A to the 5, B to the 6, 6 to the 6, and then I have the square root of AC. So I just put my letters and my numbers that are free out of the radical, and finally, this 2, I'm going to put it also with a radical. So this is 2AC. And that is all. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please don't forget to see our other tutorials. You can always Skype with us, tutor with us. Just visit our website for more information. And also, thanks so much for learning.